Welcome back to Market Headlines. After done it before in 2016 and 2017, Indonesia will propose another tax amnesty plan in upcoming talks with the lawmakers about tax law revisions. As President has sent a formal request to the House for starting the bill deliberations immediately. A tax amnesty program in 2016 to 2017 resulted around 1 million taxpayers declaring more than 4,800 trillion rupiah worth of assets. Through officials were disappointed with the amount of assets that were eventually repatriated to 147 trillion rupiah. Again, Indonesia will propose another tax amnesty plan. President Joko Widodo has notified the House of Representatives about his intent to introduce another tax amnesty program, the second in five years, as a part of government attempt to boost tax revenues amid the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the proposal is pretty controversial. For example, business actors worry the plan outlined by the Coordinating Minister for the Economy, Arlanga Hartarto, Actually, it has a potential and psychological effect on the entrepreneurs because recently the government's plan to increase VAT by up to 15% has been a nightmare already for the business actors. From all sources, IDX Channel. Recently, public is quite surprised with President's intentions on another tax amnesty program. If so, this is the second in the five years as part of the government attempt to boost tax revenues amid the COVID-19 pandemic. As we know that the first tax amnesty was in 2016 and 2017, but many officials wasn't that satisfied with the result. And before we go through the whole case, I would like to tell you what it's all about. Tax amnesty is a free pass for the taxpayer to disclose incomplete or unreported income in their previous tax periods without having to face the prosecutions by the tax court or pay any penalty. While it is pretty clear about the definitions itself, let's see the proposed in the next graphic. Through the next graphic, we can assess that the proposed is to increase the short-term tax revenue and improve compliance to tax in the future and then to encourage taxpayers to report voluntary of their wealth that own abroad and tax amnesties provide new tax system. And why does Indonesia need the tax amnesty? Indonesia is targeting 30% increase in tax revenue this year to help finance massive infrastructure contractions all across the country and ambitious target amid sluggish economic growth and low taxpayer compliance. And not only Indonesia, but almost all public officials do amnesty program to make taxpayers to pay taxes and to improve their compliance to tax in the future. Even United States of America has done tax amnesty 18 times in 41 states. The goal is very clear that the government wants this tax amnesty to be the real benefit to our common interests, to the benefit interests of the nations, to the benefit interests of the people. So while well, the coordinating minister of economic affairs at Langa Hartarto say that the stipulations about tax amnesty would be among items including the bill for the 2009 law about general provisions and tax procedures revisions items that would be revised include value added tax personal income tax reductions of corporate income tax rates value added tax on luxury items and there is excise and also carbon tax and for that the minister said that president jokowi has sent formal request to the House for starting the bill deliberation immediately. If the House approves the bill, then this will become the Tax Amnesty Program Volume 2. So let's throw back government previously implemented the first batch of Tax Amnesty in 2016 to 2017. So let's see the result in the next graphic. Here it is, we can see the total tax revenue during the first amnesty program of 2016 up to 2017. The tax revenue without amnesty reaching 2,122 trillion rupiah and the tax revenue with the amnesty became 2,257 trillion rupiah. And meanwhile, the tax revenue target itself is 200 2,639 trillion rupiah. 
Jokowi held his first tax amnesty program in 2016 and 2017, allowing tax evaders to come clean and declare their back taxes and hidden assets to the authorities with only having to pay a much smaller amount compared to what they had to pay if the authorities caught them red-handed. And the program managed to collect information about 4,813 trillion rupiah of previously hidden assets and encouraged repatriations of uh, 46 trillion rupiah overseas assets. And also the tax office raised a total of 135 trillion rupiah back taxes in 2016 and 2017. But that was not enough to cover the 517 trillion rupiah tax shortfalls over the two-year period. But still, the realizations of the tax after the first batch tax amnesty was not very satisfying, if I may say. So let's take a look at the full data in the next graphic. Here it is through the next graphic. We can see the tax realizations of Indonesia. Let's assess it from 2018, whereas the tax realizations only reached 1 thousand and three hundred and fifteen trillion rupiah but however the target itself is one thousand of four hundred and twenty four trillion rupiah and we can see the shortfall in here it was one hundred and eight trillion rupiah shortfalls in two thousand and eighteen meanwhile in two thousand and nineteen we can see that the realizations is only one thousand and three hundred and thirty two trillion rupiah meanwhile the target is one thousand and five hundred and seventy seven trillion rupiah and then the shortfall made it bigger to be two hundred and forty five trillion rupiah and meanwhile last year we can see that the realization was only one thousand and seventy trillion rupiah however the target is one thousand and one hundred and ninety eight trillion rupiah within a shortfall of 128 trillion rupiah and after there is a tax amnesty still the shortfall is a very huge and the latest data indonesia has collected around 228 trillion rupiah in taxes in the first three months period this year it went down a 5.6 percent from the same period of last year and last year, the government managed to collect 1,070 trillion rupiah in tax revenue, reaching of 89.3% of its 1,198 trillion rupiah targets as the social restrictions, the curb, the spread of COVID-19 pandemic dragged down the economy.